Hello friends, this is ADAC47 again, and uh, I'm going to follow up a previous video I posted on how to search for large images uh, on the internet to use for wallpaper or screensaver programs. Um, I'm going to talk about a slightly different problem today. That's the case where you have an image already that you want to get a better image of, uh, and the best way to do that is to do a reverse image search. So that's the point of today's video, to show how to do a reverse image search. So I have a really wonderful picture here of a sunset. And if I go in and uh, look at it, I like it, but it's really too small. We see that's actually the default size. Even when I go into slideshow, it doesn't get any bigger. And the other way to know that is just to, to use the scroll feature to try to zoom it up and it doesn't do anything. So that's the size we're stuck with. I think it's about 500 by 750 uh, pixels. So not adequate for full screen uh, display. There'll be too much pixelization on that. But what we can do is uh, take this image and I'm going to drag it to my desktop. You can't see that because I'm only recording the Safari window here but I have, and it appeared there. And now I'm going to simply go to Google. Let me get the uh, Safari app up. I just send it to the background. Here we go. So come on, give me the google.com, please. So inept at typing. So hopefully that'll work. There we go. And <clears throat> now I'm going to click on images, which is right here, because we want to search just for images, of course. And last time I simply had you type in uh, an entry here for what you wanted to search for. I think we we looked for a Corsair F4U last time. I like aviation examples, but you can type in any phrase there you want. And it gives you a palette of images you can pick from and that sort of thing. But today, we already have an image. So what we're going to do is click on the camera here. It says Search by Image. And we're going to drag our image here. Or you can type a URL to it. But I find, and I'm dragging it from my desktop here, that small image there. And what it's doing is searching the entire internet for versions of that image that are uh, the same thing in various sizes uh, that you can then uh, select from. And we find here that our uh, size, the one I dragged in, actually was 426 by 639. Um, and the other sizes it found to it are, sh are shown here. They only found medium sizes for this. So if we click here, uh, we see the biggest is 534 by 800 pixels. So that's not any better, really. Uh, it doesn't get us. Um, it doesn't get us the wallpaper size image that we want. And it often will. If you see the word large listed here, then if you click on it, you will find, uh, as we did here, an image that has uh, like 2560 by 1440 or whatever that's adequate, and you can then uh, get that image, as I'll show you in a second. But it looks like we're not going to do very well here, but something I discovered is even if it implies there's nothing larger, if you now go down and look at the scroll list, this is the actual set of what images it found. Uh, does it give us a total number up here? I don't believe. Oh, 361 total matches. Some are actually not matches. They're mismatches. But uh, so there, there's 10 or more pages. Uh, there may be more than 10, but it's displaying 10 now. And the only way to know is to now look at the pixel sizes for each image. The only way to know if there's a bigger one out there. None of these qualify. And uh, this is tedious, I grant you. But if you really like the picture and want to get a bigger version, there's no other alternative. Uh, and sometimes you won't find anything bigger than the one you had. That's just the way life is. But in this case, if we're patient, when we scroll through here, we're looking for anything that has a 2,000 or at least a 1,900 uh, or 1,800 uh, pixel in the first slot. And since I've already done this, I can save us the trouble of scrolling through all the pages because I know it's on the 12th page 
about there. So I'm going to get up to 10 and now I can go directly to 12 uh, before though when I did it. And there you see there's an image 2048 by 1251. And so we're going to go check that out and save it. And that'll be acceptable to me. But the only, oh, it looks like this is it. There are only 12 pages. So we have found the biggest version, at least using Google search engine. Uh, there might be bigger versions that could be found by another search engine. But at least using Google, there is one here. So let's go and get it. So if we click on it, and it brings up this preview of the picture, also an option for visit page or view image. I'm going to go directly to view image, and there it is. It's a gorgeous picture. It's not even in full size now. I'm going to click on the screen, and there it is in full size. And I'm going to click and drag this to my desktop. I now have it for my screensaver or my desktop folders. Uh, where I save images for those two things. And if this is a copyrighted, you can choose to share it on the internet or whatever. Um, and having done that, I'm going to go ahead and get back out of here. Let's back up. And that's it. That's how you conduct a reverse image search uh, and how you deal with a situation where, at least initially, on the first page, um, you didn't get what looked like any acceptable images. Uh, and uh, I had a previous, it's not a, it's not a video, it's a slideshow showing how to do the large reverse image search. And I got lucky I had large out here, I was able to find it right away. But in this case, uh, we weren't lucky. And I wanted to show you that if you're persistent and actually look through all the images, sometimes I've gone out 30 pages or more to find the images. Uh, uh, but I've gone from a, a 400 by 800 sort of thing to you know, 7,000 by uh, 4,000 or something. I'm just throwing numbers out, but literally that kind of difference when I was persistent. So when you see all those postage stamps posted in forums, uh, you're realizing people aren't bothering to take the time, if they've got an image they like, and do this reverse image search. So they, when they do post something that's nice, they start with the best version they can find. So that's what this is about, is to give you the skills to do that. I hope you appreciated it, enjoyed it. If you did, uh, uh, please leave a comment, and if you have suggestions or improvements or better ways of doing it, I want to hear that too. Thank you very much. This is uh, ADAC 47, over and out.